I am so excited. So the reason why is because it's my first time to see quarantine. Even though I've been in this area for the last two years, I still haven't seen him until tonight. So I'm trying to catch up with him a little bit so that we can try and get of him but it really is so dense and thick and it's quite tough we're gonna try and just see if we can't keep up thanks very much Lex so it's very 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 dense here but now there is a big pathway that runs along through here so he's just moving around in front of me you can see just here in front there he is hello boy now like I say this is the first time that I've seen him although this looks like Tingana to me I don't think that this is in quarantine it looks very much, uh, now those of you who are out there that do know these things might be able to tell me, but that looks like Tingana and not Quarantine. Now, like I say, hashtag Safari Live, if you think it's Tingana or Quarantine, you can let us know. So those of you out there that are very good with this, but to me that dewlap is way too big to be a young male leopard, and I'm pretty sure that this is Tingana that we've got walking here, which... It's still exciting, nonetheless. So even though it might not be quarantine, Tingana would still be a great find for us. You can see he's on a real mission. He keeps marking territory, so whichever male it is, is definitely marking his way as he goes. Now the problem is, is that this area is so dense and so thick that it's going to be really tough to keep up. But isn't this been the most amazing afternoon? But uh, calling cubs, two cheetah brothers, a male leopard marking territory, it doesn't get any better than this, that's for sure. And there's the smell of popcorn. Hundred urine, it's really quite nice actually. It's, I know it's a strange thing to say that I like the smell of leopard urine, but it reminds me of, well, exciting time, spending time with a leopard. Now I'm trying to just make sure that I don't end up decapitating Sebastian here. Sorry, Seb. So we're going to try to get that stick out the way. So Aaron, Karen, and Paul, uh, you all say Tingana, and I also think this is Tingana. So I'm very, very glad that we're all on the same page here. Now I am going to pull off a little bit just so that Lex, who's behind us, also gets a nice view of this male as he walks down the road. But this is very, very interesting that Tingana is all the way this side. It's very, very far out of his territory. He shouldn't really be this far east. He typically kind of hangs out a little bit north, and this is all deep in the heart of Quarantine's area, so it's quite strange that he's here. Although I suppose I have seen him as far as in Coral before, which does mean that he does traverse this area, but it's strange to see him walking around here. He hasn't been spending much time in this area at all over the last few weeks. He's been going all the way up to Arethusa and spending a lot of time on Torchwood and Chitwa and those areas, but not so much around here. So I'm quite surprised he's down here. Maybe he's seen quarantine and or heard quarantine calling and he's coming to try and get rid of this male. He could have heard in Kanyeni's and that's and that's vocalizing vocaling that's not a word sorry i'm too excited to even speak um he's vocalizing and that's maybe why he's in this area as well potentially to come and see what she's calling about so it really is so good to see him and stick either way it doesn't matter that it's not quarantine he's such an impressive male leopard that big head that big dewlap it really does make for such impressive viewing but i think unfortunately we're probably not going to be able to stay with him too long it really is so so dense in here it's not a friendly place to off-road so i'm going to try and go forward a little bit so we can see him again before he disappears into this because this is really very dense but it looks like he's coming back again seb so maybe he's going to come to this termite mound let's just stop here and see but you can see look how fast he's moving he's on a serious mission he's trying to sniff out something you can see the head is down the whole time and he's smelling all the time so let me try and go back behind this termite mound Seb can you see behind me there so Sebastian is going to be my eyes as we reverse because I'm gonna try and keep an eye on Tingana because if we don't we're gonna have a problem because he's gonna disappear very quickly. Now wouldn't it have been nice if he had just gone on top of the termite mound? That would have been first prize, but it seems he's going to make us work this soft evening. Now, I'm gonna try and negotiate this thicket.
So David, he is, he's not far at all. He, you're wondering whether... <laughs> He's, he's playing uh, Ring Around the Rosie on the Termite Mound with us here. Um, so he is quite close to Inconyeni and the Cub. He's probably, I would say, distance-wise, oh, maybe a mile, just just under a mile away, which for a leopard is really not far. I mean, we know Tingana can really move it when he wants to and goes very, very big distances. So that's not far for a male leopard. Um, and if he hears Inconyeni calling, he's definitely going to start heading that way. So the most definitely a risk for Inkanyeni, particularly if she's got new cubs, because we know for sure she hasn't mated with Tingana. We haven't seen any signs of that. He hasn't been in this area at all, so it's very unlikely that he's mated with her, which means that it would be a really big threat for little cubs if Tingana is around. But he is heading away from her now, so he's heading kind of in a north-westerly direction, which means that probably sometime in the early hours of this morning, or tomorrow morning, should I say, that he'll be at Juma Camp, knowing this male, and the way he likes to walk so I would imagine that he's going to end up being somewhere that side now I think we've actually lost him no there he is I can see him he's on the road in front of us so the Lex the vehicle in front he's just getting some time with his guests and enjoying the beauty of Tingana walking down the road now so Thomas are always trying to expand their territory. A male will always take as much space as he can because that ultimately is more food and more availability of females. So he will definitely try and expand his territory as much as possible. But Tingana is an old male with an established territory. He's got a massive territory already and it's difficult for him to be able to patrol such a large territory and that's why we see him moving such large distances all the time. But yes, he does have a very, very big territory. Now, unfortunately, he's stopped right in front of the vehicle. I can just see his face and so that's why they haven't moved off and why we're not moving at the moment. But he will get going now. Now, I'm sure he's going to start moving. There we go. So we are going to try and see now if we can't get a visual. So I believe Jamie, since she's been battling a little bit with the leopards, is deciding that she's going to use some of our technology and our toys that we have on the car and is in infrared. So there goes Tingana into Nkoro, so we're going to lose him. This road here is the cut line, so unfortunately that is as far as we can follow him. But isn't he looking fantastic? Look how big that male is. He's got the most massive dewlap. What has he just chased? He's chased something. I don't know what it was, but he ran into the bush here. I don't know what it is. Now we can't go north of this line, so I'm going to try and see if I can't get around to where he went. Is he back on the road, Sebastian? Okay. But it looked... Oh. He's just trying to negotiate this without getting a puncture. But, yeah, he's unfortunately gone into, I think, in Coral. I don't think we're going to be able to follow any further than this now. But that was at least amazing. It was really, really good to see him. So I think we're going to try and see see if we can get out of this area and get back onto a road of some sort and while we do that we're going to probably I think fight our way through a thicket um, yes no that's it unfortunately Tingan has gone into a coral so that was still a nice surprise to be able to see him and follow him but to get through this is going to be absolutely interesting to say the least so I'm going to try and see if I can't work out a way now, while we try and negotiate this rather interesting area we found ourselves in, let's go across to Jamie, who is in IR.